All right, hi everybody. Um, listen, I want John to watch this. John, if you're here, I know you usually click on my videos and then immediately clicked off after like two seconds. I'm asking you to please watch my video all the way through. Seriously, because I, I already watched this video of yours the whole way. And throughout the video, you're playing the victim and you want to know why everyone is so mean to you and all this stuff. Well, I'm going to explain it to you, okay? I know you don't believe it, and the reason that you don't believe it is because you can't do the research to actually find out, but I am the man of facts in, like, every capacity. I will tell you the real reason I will answer every question factually that you have asked in this video. All I ask is that you sit here and watch it and listen to what I'm fucking saying. I don't feel bad for you as a person because I think you're a rotten person, but I feel bad for, like, your mentality. I feel bad that you play the victim when you're not. And that's why I'm going to answer your questions to try to get through to you. I'm going to try to get through to you by telling you cold, hard facts. Actual facts. Not a story, but cold, hard, real facts. In the hope that they get through to your head. I will tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. Just listen to me. Hi, I'm John. This is my show, An American Scheme, where I'm proving that Diana Ross is Michael Jackson's actual mother. So I'm just kind of just going to ramble a little bit here, uh, tell you a few things like just basic updates. Like if any of you people have noticed, like I'm removing a lot of the videos from my page because basically. So here's the first thing. Yes, you are removing a lot of things from your page. It's very ironic that I brought this up to you about two days ago in one of your videos, a video that you also privated. And uh, you're just you're you happen to be mentioning it just a couple days later. Well, the thing is, you are deleting videos. First of all, the only videos you're deleting are the ones where you're yelling at fans. Okay, you're not deleting anything involving your story. Um, and the reason you're deleting them is because you realize now maybe how crazy how crazy they make you look. That's why you're removing them, John. Come on, let's be honest. See, I know my story is true. There's no doubt about it. And so a lot of what I'm doing is document. So what you're saying is you know that your story is true, and that's why you're deleting them, because it's like, oh, I've already done my story, it's finished, I can delete stuff. But you're not deleting videos relating to your story. So there's no point, right? You're deleting fan screaming videos. That's what you're deleting. Or videos where you insult fans. And I think it's because you realize how bad they make you look. They make you look like a liar and a hypocrite, and you want to come off as the victim, and you can't come off as a victim if you're yelling and swearing at other people, right, John? Come on. I mean, this process and stuff, and actually my experiences with the YouTubers and the stuff like that. So one of the things that I was doing, because I thought what would happen eventually is that one of these Michael Jackson YouTubers would clearly just see how obvious, like, my... Well, the thing is, your work is not obvious. Your story is not obvious. Every single thing you say in your story is anecdotal. It's a theory, okay? You keep calling it a fucking story, but it's not. It's a conspiracy theory that you made up. How can you possibly call something that you created with no hard facts a fact? Everything you say are just like coincidences that you find online for example like the billy thing in that diana ross movie that's fine what you brought up is very interesting i'm not denying that i don't think anyone else is either they are interesting points but none of them are actually facts even if you look at all the things you pointed out collectively they still don't actually prove anything and but the thing is i do agree that the things you brought up can be brought up in a neat little package like all of them together in a nice collective and be made into a really cool conspiracy theory video where you say at the end, hey, what if I'm right? Isn't this fucking crazy? But no, instead what you've done is you said that all of these individual things are 100% facts and anyone who disagrees with you or even questions you is a fucking idiot, loser, moron, fraud, virgin, 12-year-old girl. That's not how you get a conspiracy out unless you have cold, hard facts. And in terms of cold, hard facts, there really only are two. One is a picture of Diana Ross in 1957 being pregnant, and the second one is a DNA test. But since you cannot get either of those, you're going to have to just admit that every point you have made is just anecdotal. It's not bad, John. 
but you have to admit to it. Any theory I've created that I know is true or I'm pretty sure is true, if I can't prove it, you know, without a shadow of a doubt, and all of my facts are just like substantial, circum, uh, um, you know, circumstantial, anecdotal, I say like, hey, I don't have 100% fact, but look at all the stuff I do have. Isn't that really cool, guys? It might be true, and that's how you're supposed to act, not just yell at anybody who even dares question you. Work how obviously true it is and how important it is, right? So I, I always assume... Again, you say it's obviously true with no obvious proof, but just anecdotal proof, and also that it's important while never explaining the importance of it. It's been two years now that I've had this page, my An American Scheme page. I've been here two years. Way over a year, I've been really solid, doing real heavy work. The beginning stuff, I understand. It was just based. I actually agree. You have done a lot of work into this whole Diana Ross thing, but the problem with you, John, that you don't seem to get as to you know why people ignore you and stuff is because of who you are, your personality, your attitude, the way you yell and scream at everybody. That's why people ignore you. It's not just because hey, I'm John and my Diana. Ross. No, it's because you treat people like shit. Basic, and uh, it was the basic story and stuff, but that's not true either. Your original videos weren't the basic story. In fact, your original videos were your best ones. Your first ten videos were all your story, where you're actually trying to show the facts that you found. It was your later videos where all you did was scream at fans again and 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 again. Fans like me, Krista, Michael Trapson, Ashley, Teresa, Dangerous Moonwalker, River Gibbs, etc. How can you sit here and say that, it, that it's your newer videos that are better? Your newer ones are just fans screaming. That's all you did. Whereas your first 10 videos are actually from your goddamn theory, which you should have just stuck with instead of becoming a lunatic. I really have been just pounding it for the last year, just making great videos, exposing all of it. No, you haven't. W what are you talking about, John? Look at your channel, and I know you can because you didn't actually delete the videos, you just privatized them. So if you go into your video manager thing, you can still see your videos there, John, because you didn't delete them, and you know you didn't because every video you made about me, I put into a playlist called Matt's FTR on other channels, and they're not deleted, John, they're privatized, which means if you go into your video manager, you will still see them there. And if you look there, you will see one very important thing, that every video, to me, Michael Trapson, etc., is just you yelling and screaming and swearing and insulting. That's all they are. How can you say that the last year has been your better videos? No, you're, you were better when you started. You know, putting all the information there and stuff, documenting so much stuff. So what I thought would have happened, I could, I thought I was going to get at least one of them to investigate my page. But that's not what I genuinely believe that people actually would have investigated. I really do. If you had come on here, not been a total asshole, not sworn at every single person who dares to question you or disagree with you... And just been like, hey guys, I have this really weird theory, I found all kinds of weird inconsistencies with Diana Ross, and I think she might actually be his mother. Here's the reasons why, what do you guys think? Because you see the thing is, fans are rotten people. I'm not denying that, fans treat me like absolute dog shit because I won't make videos about Michael Jackson anymore. They treat me like shit. Generally speaking, fans are rotten people. But the way they behave towards you is not really an example of that. The way they, the way that they, that they behave towards you is a little much. How they like swear at you and call you racist and stuff, that's, that is too much. However, the simple act of disagreeing with you or not wanting to make a video in response to what you actually say because of how awful your attitude is, that doesn't make them bad. It's everything else they do. It happened. I literally can't get any of them to literally do any basic investigation. Just as a Michael Jackson fan, that- Bullshit, you're lying again. You've had many people who have actually taken you seriously, at least partially. Even I went to your top five video, and I commented on it, and I took it very seriously. I listened to all your points. I even admitted that all five of your points were interesting, but they just don't prove it. That's what I said. I admitted that all five of your top, you know, your top five reasons were all interesting, John. I said that. I listened. I didn't swear at you or anything. And then immediately after, you say that I never took you seriously. 
when I fucking did, and so did other people. And even if we're talking about fans here who are taking you seriously or not, you even actually have real fans. I've seen some comments on your videos of people saying, good work, John, and stuff like that. I don't know if they're just fake accounts, but the point is you do have some people who genuinely agree with you. So you're just lying when you say, nobody agrees and everyone's victimizing me. You're lying. That's the thing that bugs me the most. It's like that they call themselves Michael Jackson fans. They actually have pages dedicated. If you go talk to them, they'll constantly, every one of them will say, Oh, Michael did so much for me. He changed my life. He did this. Oh, he means so much to me. All this stuff. They're, they're so pathetic they can't even... So here we go again. Here we go a fucking again. All you're saying is that these fans, like, you know, they're not real... F like, they claim to be real fans, but they're not because they won't listen to you. That's another part of your problem. A person is not a fake fan just because they won't listen to your conspiracy. And the reason they won't listen, by the way, is your own doing. They won't listen because of your attitude. It's not because they're dumb in this stuff. A lot of MJ fans are stupid. But that's not why they're not listening. They're not listening because you're rude. They're not listening because you swear and lament and call everyone ridiculous names and all this shit. That's the reason. Yes, MJ fans are very fucking stupid people, but there's other reasons for it. It's not just because they won't listen to my story. There's more to it than that, and a person is not a fake just because they don't want to listen to your fucking story. What about people like me who are just simply not interested? All of a sudden, I'm not a fan, I can't enjoy Michael's music or whatever because I don't listen to John? Like, that's the problem. The problem, John, is you. It's your mentality. It's the way you think. You believing that a person, if a person doesn't listen to John, it means that they're fake. That's your issue. That's the problem in your head. Even do a basic little investigation into my page. I mean, that's so, it's weird. This weird stuff of what's taking place. So I thought I'd been dealing with all this stuff. And then because of that, they all attacked me, which you can go, you just put in the name an American. What a bunch of bullshit again. Nobody attacked you first, John. You were the first person to attack, okay? Even me. I'll admit that I made the video about you first, but my video wasn't an attack. It was a it was a very short five minute analysis video where I was saying, based on my research and you know, I'm, I'm a professional with body language analysis and human behavior, I said that you were crazy, but I wasn't wrong. And I wasn't even really insulting. I mean, you can take me calling you crazy as an insult, I guess, but it wasn't meant to be an insult. It was meant to be like, John really is, you know, kind of a crazy person because of the way he talks and the way he treats people. So I pointed it out. But most things are from you, okay? Don't fucking sit here and tell me that Michael Trapson attacked you first. What a bunch of bullshit. Don't tell me that that Krista attacked you first. Don't fucking tell me that Ashley off the wall attacked you first. Don't fucking tell me that Teresa attacked you first. You attacked all of these people before they attacked you. And even if they did attack you first, your attacks are much more vile because what do they say? Ha ha, John's so crazy. Look what he believes in. But what do you say? You people are fake fans. You're scum. You're liars. You're frauds. You're fakes. That's what you do. You scream like a fucking maniac. Don't play the victim. American scheme, go down through the list, you'll see, you know, I was been attacked by all these people. They don't ever, none of them have ever done an investigation, but geez, go look at- Bull, there are people who have, and I already stated that I was one of them. How many of them will just flat out attack me? But what did he do? He never, could he ever even do the simplest investigation into even dealing with my page? And what did he do? He closed up his page. Michael's a pedophile. He's willing to go through the process of all of that. Michael's a pedophile. He closed his page. He totally abandoned my- See, here's the problem with you again. You think your story is so special and important that every fan must listen to you. Even big fans like River Gibbs. What is this fucking ego? Because River Gibbs didn't want to listen to your story, all of a sudden, he's a rotten scumbag fraud and all this shit. You're just crazy, John. You really are just genuinely insane. That's not how things work. If someone doesn't want to listen, don't yell at them. Move on and find someone else who will listen. Now, I know what you're going to say. Nobody listened. But again, that's not their problem. It's yours. There are a number of people who are willing to listen. But you were such an asshole to everybody. 
I was even willing to listen. If you recall, John, and I, and I know you do because I said this to you, I actually offered you a fucking Skype debate where we could talk about your fucking Diana Ross thing. I offered it to you, and you said no, John. You said no to an offer, and then here you are yelling because nobody wants to accept your story, even though I fucking gave you a chance. Again, you're nothing but a liar. The biggest ones, like Hector Barjot, like that guy, you know, that guy, he's got the massivest collection. He's older. He says he cares about Michael, has experience. He couldn't do the simplest basic investigation. He couldn't tell me that he listened to my Billy Jean explanation video. He couldn't even do that. Couldn't even say, oh, yeah, I heard what you said. That's it. That's all you had to say. Okay, I heard what you said. I'll, I'll keep it in mind. It's like, that's all I ever wanted people to say. Okay, I heard what you say. Now I'll start to think about it and I'll look at things a little different. That's it. Says he cares about Michael, has experience. He couldn't do the simplest basic investigation. He couldn't tell me that he listened to my Billy Jean explanation video. He couldn't even do that. Couldn't even say, oh, yeah, I heard what you said. That's it. That's all you had to say. Okay, I heard what you said. I'll, I'll keep it in mind. It's like, that's all I ever wanted people to say. Okay, I heard what you say. Now I'll start to think about it and I'll look at things a little different. That's it. What a bunch of bullshit. So you're lying again. You're just lying over and over again. All I want is for people to listen and consider it. No, you don't because you have people considering it. I fucking consider it when I watch your top five video. I left you a comment. I had admitted I had found the whole thing interesting. Your points. You have other people who have done the same thing. You have actual people commenting saying, I support you, John, for some reason. And yet here you are saying that nobody, not one person, has ever even considered. No one's even tried. No one's even thought about it one single fucking time. You fucking goddamn motherfucker liar. You have had several people listening to you and considering and... And saying, you know, like, oh, the points are interesting. I just think you're a total asshole, John. You don't admit that you have, in fact, had people saying that. And you go, no, every single person has just told me to go to hell or not listened. You're a liar. You're playing the victim. You're lying. Stop it. I started making the videos and stuff. And what I was doing, though, is I was documenting the process of the reality of that these people, I was encountering these people. And what they don't know is that when my story becomes true... This encounter that I've dealt with here in YouTube with all the people, I've actually made those people relevant in the Michael Jackson story through my process, which gives them a claim to fame, which actually there's a value there and stuff. This is how crazy you are. You actually believe that your story is the claim to fame for every fan? No, it's not. And you haven't opened doors for anybody. People who are more popular than you, and you only have 300 subscribers, like, what do you think you have, a million subscribers? You act and talk like you have a million subscribers, but you don't. You have 300, okay, John? You have 300 fucking subscribers with a 99% dislike ratio, and every video barely passes 100 views. You don't have the kind of, you know, reach that you seem to think you have. I mean, if you just think the theory itself is, like, the claim to fame, then okay, it's not, but if you think that, fine. You're allowed to have that opinion, but your channel and you as a person in and of itself is not the claim to fame for anybody. Okay, that's part of your problem, too, is that you're so delusional. You actually believe that what you're saying is so amazingly powerful that anybody anybody can become fucking Bill Gates by listening to you. It's just ridiculous. Open up the door for opportunities for all the other fans and see if they want to go ahead and run with it a little bit. I have no problem with that. I'm not in here trying to become rich. That's not the part. Oh, boy, it's not about that. You would have had fans. You probably would have had at least a few fans who took your theory and be like, yeah, this is really interesting. Check this out, guys. If you weren't an asshole, if you weren't always swearing at people, like, like I said, fans are awful, but they didn't swear at you first, at least not to the extent you think they did. All the swearing and name-calling came from you. Look at look at you and I, for example. I never, I never insulted you until you insulted me. Never. Not even once. You called me a fake, a fraud, a liar, a bad person, gay, all kinds of names, and I never called you anything unless I was retaliating against you. And, and I was the only person who watched one of your videos thoroughly. I commented on it, gave my thoughts, 
admitted to you that it was interesting, and I even offered you a Skype debate. And yet you treated me as poorly as you did. If that doesn't say things about you, about how crazy you are and what a bad person you are, then nothing will. A literary agent can take the videos that I've made here, they go to a, a publisher, they take the work here, they go and they sell the idea to a publisher. The publisher then would advance me, they would give me money to then write the book. Then they would give me an advance because that's an advance on their future royalties because they know the month the book. Then write a book, dude. Like, write a fucking book. If you love your theory so much and yourself, then just write a fucking book. Prove all of us wrong, okay? And it's not, it's not even about proving us wrong, actually, because many fans don't even just hate the theory. Like, they make fun of you about the theory, but because of what a piece of shit you are. If you had just come out from the very beginning and said, this is my theory. I'm not claiming it's a fact because I can't prove it, but I found a lot of strange things and I want to show all of you people these. What do you think? You will have some people disagreeing, but you will at the very least have some people also saying, hmm, very interesting points, John. I don't know if you're right, but it's an interesting theory and I'll think about it. You would have had that if you didn't treat people like total shit. But, you know, I say go for the book deal because if you are right, I would, I would personally like to see you succeed because here's the thing. You think fans are so fucking horrible. And again, you're not completely wrong to say that. But you, you, you put me across as one of the worst. Meanwhile, I'm one of the only fans who would actually like you to be right, assuming you are. If you are right, John, if you are, then I would like to see you proven right. I don't want to, I don't want to see you proven wrong if you're right. Or I don't want to see someone trying to discredit you if you shouldn't be discredited. I'm a man of facts. My entire life is facts. So if you are right, I do want to see you proven right. I'd be rooting for you if you're right. I just wish that you didn't treat people so fucking horribly, man. Right now, I've been victimized by Motown. I've been victimized by Barry Gordy directly. I've been victimized by... Smokey Robinson, I've been victimized by Diana Ross, and I've been victimized by the uh, Michael Jackson estate. So right, th right now, if I went and told a lawyer about my story and my situation and what's going on and how what they have done to me, and the reason I can prove this as I'm a victim is because they documented it. I would first start off by showing the song Shop Around. I would say that that's the first song that showed uh, the explaining of, the, of what happened there. What else can I really say? I mean, for God's sakes, guys, as you can see from this video so far, I've been cutting out a lot of what he's saying because a lot of it's rambling and repeating and I don't want my video to be crazy long. But look at what he just said. He's the victim of Barry Gordy and Diana Ross and Smokey Robinson. Like, what the fuck? He's the victim because he came on YouTube two years ago with a conspiracy, made a bunch of videos about the conspiracy, and then a lot of videos insulting any fan that dares make, you know question him or disagree with him and now he's the victim from three people that he's never even spoken to i'm just fucking blown away but again as far as it goes for me documenting all that does is prove that john is crazy it proves that he has a severe victim complex you all know it to be true verbally attacking me and threaten me Weird. And like I said, because it's weird, it's causing this emotional stress and pressure and, and the actual attack. They're actually verbally attacking me and threatening me. All of that shit. They're freaking causing this. I am literally... What are you talking about? You're the one insulting people and attacking people. You insult and attack anyone who dares question you or disagree with you. You call people awful fucking names every video you make involves you saying the word fraud fake disgusting scum etc at least 50 times you do it over and over and over again if any fan threatened you like an actual threat and not just an insult i think that's horrible and as again for the millionth time fans are horrible there's no doubting that but but if they are only threatening you because you were insulting them and treating them like shit, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna... I mean, I'm still against it because I don't believe in threatening at all. But 
you can't just say that you're completely undeserved if that's their reason for doing it. Come on, John. Any of you people want an uh, opportunity in the Michael Jackson world, my stuff is all of it. Every, like, just let's take, like, for reality. Like, look at uh, a person like MJ Fangirl. Her videos suck. What does she actually add to Michael Jackson? Nothing. She only takes from him. Her video... And there we go again, the same thing you always say. A person's videos suck because they're not yours. Or that people take from Michael Jackson. I don't even know what that means, take from Michael Jackson. What do you mean they're taking from Michael Jackson? You've said that same thing about Krista too. She's taking from Michael Jackson. Michael Chapson is taking from Michael Jackson. Nobody is taking, they're just doing tributes. Like, being an impersonator and dancing like him is not taking from him. You don't have to create your own dance to be honoring Michael Jackson. You obviously don't even know what an impersonator or a tribute artist is. A person dances like Michael Jackson because they're trying to keep his dance and music alive. That's why they're copying his dance. You can't really copy, you can't really keep a dance alive if you're not doing the fucking dance. That's why they're impersonators doing his dancing. It's not because they're trying to steal from him, it's because they're trying to keep his dancing alive by doing his dancing. Like, you've said it before to Krista, like, oh, she's using his dancing to make herself popular. Well, although she may get popular and she's probably happy about it, same with Michael Trapson, it doesn't change the fact that they are keeping Michael's dancing alive by doing it themselves. They're not deliberately trying to steal from Michael. Their goal isn't, hey, Michael Jackson did really cool dancing, now I'm going to do it and become just as famous as him. That's not what their goal was. They just wanted to dance like him because they like him and like his dancing. That's fucking it. But you have to manipulate and lie about everything to make everyone that's not you look bad, and you're just lying. You're just fucking lying over and over and over again, and you goddamn well know you are. You wonder why people like me don't like you. It's because you're a fucking pathological liar. Cut it the fuck out. And on top of that, you claim anybody's videos that aren't yours suck. Like, for example, you came to my channel. My channel isn't even about Michael Jackson anymore. But you said I suck too. And what was your reason? Because I won't talk about Diana Ross. It's like, in your mind, again, a person's entire channel sucks if they're not talking about this one fucking topic in your mind. And the fact that you don't think that's a really screwed up thing shows how screwed up you are. But she stands there and now acts like, oh, I'm going to tell these stupid common knowledge stuff and now I'm a big person in the mind. But if you want people to take you seriously or at least be like, yeah, John, yeah, that's, that, that's an interesting theory, then stop being an asshole. Just be like, hey, this is my theory. Don't say, this is a fact and I'm God and if you don't listen, you're a piece of shit. That's all you do. She will not talk about me because she's scared of me because she's scamming everybody with what she's doing because she's not a real fan. This is all the abuse and the stuff I've had to deal with because of these people. They this is it, guys. This is the entire fucking video. That's why, that's why I'm skimming through it because this is the whole video. I'm a victim because people won't listen to me. Or because I'm an asshole and I don't want to and I don't want to start not being an asshole. That's what the whole video is. He, around that time, I know I skipped over it, but he started talking about Pearl Jr., who I hate her too. But I, I don't go on her page and start screaming and lamenting at her, though. I just ignore her. Like, my God, John, what do you not get? You are the attacker in this. I'm not saying you haven't been attacked by rabid MJ fans. But what I am saying is that when it comes to your page in particular, you brought it on yourself. You acting like a crazed fucking lunatic who yells and hates anybody who doesn't listen to him because he thinks he's the center of the fucking world and God. That's all you. That's all in your head. Nobody told you to literally say that your videos are the word of God. You actually said that. Like, you can't just take a theory that's interesting at best with no evidence, real evidence, like provable evidence and saying that you that be that your theory is literally the word of God because you are so certain that you're right. So certain in fact that you don't even give people the chance to really take it seriously and you just go immediately, well if you don't fucking listen, you're a piece of shit. Give people the fucking chance and and tell them they have a chance. Like, hey, think about it please. 
you just go, oh, you watched my video and, and said no, well, fuck you, you, I'm, I'm Satan. God, John, it's all you, you brought it on yourself. You don't think that they'll go to work for me, and I don't- so here we are in the last 10 minutes of the video, and as you people know, if you've watched any more than like two of his videos, you know the formula, right? How does it go? He starts off the first half of the video talking normal and calm, and as the video progresses, he gets louder and louder and louder and louder. And the last, usually between 5 minutes to 8 minutes of the video, is just him screaming at the top of his lungs and using his trademark words like scum, fraud, liar, fake, stupid, moron, etc. And we are, in fact, 21 minutes in. So what does that mean? John should be at the screaming part, right? I don't have to do nothing! I can just sit here and just wait. Wait for my fucking paycheck. And I don't think it's even better if I did it that way because if I got it dis, uh, disclosed where I can't ever talk about it because they gave me a huge financial payment, boom, now I'm rich and I don't have to have deal with any of the backlash of fucking coming out and having to deal with what I'm going to deal with when all this fucking shit comes down. That sounds like a pretty good fucking deal to me. That's It's kind of like where it's going to... So you're admitting that the money is more important than, than the theory itself. Thank you, John to be at right now because i went through all this fucking shit and all the abuse and it's like do i want abuse that you caused again you caused it fucking keep going through this fucking abuse and all the fucking abuse i'm gonna have to go through it's just constant fucking abuse for me and what happens is there any fucking path to glory or whatever the fuck no okay i'm done i can't go any further than this i went 22 minutes into the video but i'm fucking done the last nine minutes from 22 to 33 is just pure screaming like all of his videos are. This is the problem, John, that all you do is yell at people. You don't actually provide the things you found in your story as just like, hey, here's some points, guys. That's your problem, John. You're not the victim, okay? You treat people like shit, and then they treat pe and then they treat you like shit in retaliation or ignore you, and then you play the victim for it. It's nothing, okay? And as far as like just regular MJ fans being assholes, well then guess well you know what? Get fucking used to it because that's how fans are. I've had to deal with this for fifteen years. You've had to deal with it for two fucking years. Shut up, okay? When it comes to fans being ravenous assholes, just in general. That's just how they always are. It has nothing to do with you. You're not the center of the fucking world, even though you think you are. But as for fans who are angry at you, specifically about your story and stuff, it's because you're rude and you're an asshole and you insult people. That's the reason. Now, before I end the video, I just want to show you guys one more thing, including John, because I'm hoping he's watching. Check this out. Do a little investigation. Go speak to fucking your elders that are around you that got some fucking knowledge and see what they fucking got to say. I'm not here ever telling anybody to fucking trust me. I'm saying fucking test me, judge me, you do whatever the fuck you want. I will run fucking over every single one of you because every single Michael Jackson fan I've ever fucking met a fucking fraud. There's Bullshit. I offered to debate you and you turned me down. Bullshit. Stupid motherfucking morons. I have not met one of them that'll fucking stand up to any fucking challenge. I did stand up to you, liar. That I put in front of them every fucking time. I come up and say, I challenge you. They fucking block me and run. Tell everybody, don't talk to me. Bullshit, you ran. You're lying again. This is your other problem. You're such a fucking liar. Don't, they're frauds. You think I'm gonna fucking run from any fucking challenge? Like, look at- You the did! There's- there's a fucking, uh, the M MJ cast, right? Have they done any fucking investigation into my work? Hell no, because they're stupid, thieving, fucking scumbag losers. If they were real- You really expect people to come to this page when that's what you fucking scream about, and that's what you say. Hey, you stupid, thieving, scumbag, virgin, fucking fraud, losers! Take me seriously. I'm sure they will. Anybody out there that claims to be having to do something with fucking Michael Jackson here on YouTube, they're frauds. They're pathetic fucking scum bad losers. Can there is more to being a Michael Jackson fan than just your Diana Ross theory. There's a lot more than just one thing. 
But as I've already said, John, you think you're the center of the world. And that's another problem I'm trying to bring up to you that you need to fix. Stop thinking you're the center of the world. Once you do, you realize there's more to it than just your one theory, and there's more to being a fan than just that one theory. You do nothing for Michael Jackson but fucking steal from him and hinder the ability for me to get the real fucking story out. You're actually fucking enemies of Michael Jackson, you fucking losers. You're f Again, yeah, anybody who doesn't listen to you, just you, is an enemy. Fucking all of them. Tell me one of them who's fucking real. I challenge him right now. I challenge all the fucking MJ guilty motherfuckers too. They don't know shit either. They're weak, stupid, fucking fraud motherfuckers. People out there like John Ziegler thinks he's a real fucking journalist. That fucker ain't nothing. I will run over that fucker. Dude, that's somebody who's claims got knowledge. You deal that motherfucker, get up, I'll fucking beat that motherfucker down with my fucking knowledge. He knows nothing. He's a fucking slave moron when it comes to fucking dealing with any other reality of what the fuck I'm dealing with. You're all fucking nothing. All of you. A fucking challenge. You put somebody in front of me, this is what the fuck is going to get happen. They're going to get made to look like a fucking fool if they fucking dare to denounce the fucking reality of what the fuck I'm dealing with. Fucking losers, all of you. Fucking sick of it. How many fucking times I gotta tell you? Tell me somebody out there who's fucking real. Tell me one. They're not fucking real. And you know what happened? I get these motherfuckers come around my page, and then I see you on their pages. Oh, you're so good. You're so fuck all of you then. I don't ever want to see somebody on my page fucking promoting what I do, and then you're out there promoting those fucking demon scumbag motherfuckers. Fuck you. Fuck you too. I don't fucking like any of you. Anybody that ever fucking comes on my page, tries to fucking promote what I do, but then you go to their fucking page and promote what they do, god damn you, fuck you, you denounce them. You fucking go and denounce them right now. You tell them they're fucking scum, they're fucking trash. If they won't deal with fucking American scheme, then we're gonna fucking kick them the fuck out of here. They're nothing. You fucking stupers, you don't want to back me? Then I'll fucking denounce you too. I will fucking do everything by myself. I don't fucking need any of you. If I want to cash in, I'll fucking make the money and run. I'll fucking take the money and run. Get the fuck out of here. I'll do whatever the fuck I want because I got all the fucking power. Fuck all of you. Fuck anybody who fucking tries to stand up against me and denounce me. Fuck all of you. I don't anybody. Stand up to me, you fucking losers. This is the fucking voice of fucking God speaking to you. And I got no fucking... And there it is. I went through this whole video trying to find that one part. This is the voice of God. I hope you enjoyed all of his screaming, but I might cut most of it out of the video. But go to his video. Like I said, from 20 minutes right to 33, he's just screaming like he always does. But that, that right there is the big problem with you, John. The voice of God. That's actually what you think of yourself. And that's the problem. Nobody wants to talk to somebody with a mentality like that. Here's my advice if you actually want any chance of people taking you seriously. Delete every video on your account that is not about Diana Ross. And then stick with only your points and your theories. And when you make those videos, don't scream at them like this. Just say, here's my points, guys. Bye! But at this point, I don't think you can because I think you're too far down the rabbit hole. I think too many people have already seen you screaming like a lunatic. So if people see you talking normally, they're going to know that you're just, you know, deliberately doing that to get people to listen to you. I think they already know. Plus, there's people like me who have already seen uh, your behavior. Like, I know that you have a problem with lying. I know you have a problem... I know that you're a fake, I know that you're a hypocrite, I know that you're a liar, I know that you're just a genuinely bad person. So even if you did start talking calmly in future videos and only stayed with your points and not just screaming and swearing, I wouldn't listen because I know what you've done in the past. I think you've already fucked yourself over, but that is still the best advice you can get. The moral of the story is, John, you brought all of this on yourself. All of it.